Now that the season is over, I wanted to see if I could build a bridge that was much closer to some of the top scores I had read about throughout the season. Before I describe my best result, it might be useful to go back a few months and talk about the initial designs and builds I showcased in earlier videos. The top bridge shown here was my build number 4 and was tested on September 24, 2021. It weighed 7.52 grams and featured legs that used the L-style design and scored 2660. The one below it was build number 8 and was tested on December 16, 2021. The primary purpose of this build was to showcase a design change where the legs were just a single piece of wood. This design was definitely the easier of the two to build, and in this case it performed even better, scoring 2865 with a mass of 6.98 grams. Both of these designs and all of my earlier Division B builds were perfectly square designs and the hole to allow for the pass-through block was 4.5 centimeters wide, which was fairly conservative. A square design like this is relatively easy to build and doesn't require a complex assembly jig. With what I learned when building the Division C bridges and later the 2015 Rules Optimization video series, I wanted to try a tapered design for Division B. I chose an 8 cm wide base, which makes the top width about 3.5 cm to properly allow for the 4 by 7 cm pass-through block. This does require a fancy jig to assemble the shape accurately, but it's not too difficult to design and 3D print. Here you can see how a bridge fits nicely on the jig. I would build the sides first and then carefully tape them to the jig with painter's tape and then glue all the cross members. A tapered design provides the benefit of some inherent lateral stability and also makes the top cross member shorter, which is good for the high compression that piece is under. The drawbacks of this design are that it's harder to build, even with a proper jig, because all the surfaces from side to side are no longer flat. You need to deal with slightly bowing the cross members, which is fine from a design standpoint, but more challenging to build correctly. This is the first of two bridges I'm going to show in detail. This one weighed 5.68 grams and held an incredible 18.77 kilograms for a competition score of 3521. And even more impressive, an actual efficiency of 3305. If that actual efficiency was achieved at 15 kilograms instead of 18.77 kilograms, the competition score would have been over 4400. That is an extreme case, and I'm not sure that is possible, but with the perfect build and a bit of luck, I do think scores over 4,000 are possible with this year's rules. The legs for this build were made from two pieces of 3 32nd inch thick by 9 mm wide balsa. You can see that the 22 cm normalized length weights were about 0.66 grams for the vertical part of the leg and about 0.55 grams for the horizontal part. Once cut down to the proper size, the final actual weight of all the legs together was 4.37 grams. The primary tension pieces were 1 32nd by 1 16th inch bass and weighed 0.25 and 0.24 grams at their actual lengths of 38.5 centimeters. The top part of the side was similar to the vertical leg part and both 4 centimeter pieces together weighed 0.28 grams. All the cross members for this build, except for the very top piece, were made from 1 32nd by 1 32nd bass. The top piece needed to be a little stronger and was 1 32nd by 1 16th bass. The entire weight of all the cross pieces were 0.261 grams. I also like to record the completed sides with and without the top part of the leg glued on just to compare from build to build. Here is the final result after being in a simple dry box for a day or two and the weight is 5.68 grams. If you've seen my videos before, you know about this test setup. I'm pouring sand into the funnel just out of view on the left side of the screen. I've skipped ahead to just show the loading after about 10 kilograms. This bridge had a very satisfying exploding failure in real time. Slowed down at 5000 frames per second, it's much more calm. Unfortunately, it looks like the first failure mode is hidden by the block and probably occurs at either the back top joint or the top leg itself. 
This bodes well for the rest of the build being very strong, including all of the cross supports and the primary tension pieces. Here's my best result, build number 21. It weighed 5.29 grams and held 15.67 kilograms for a competition score of 3781. All the cross members and tension pieces were meant to be identical to the previous build. For people looking closely, you might have already seen what makes this build so special. This was my first attempt at using sea grain balsa for both parts of the leg. For those that don't know, the balsa grain type has to do with how the cross section is cut from the tree. Specialized balsa has some really nice pictures that explain the difference between the types. Most balsa that you find is typically A or B grain or some combination of both. Sea grain is special because the annular rings run through the thickness of the sheet. From a material property perspective, it makes this type of balsa very stiff and brittle. You can usually pick out sea grain balsa visually by the checkerboard pattern in the sheets. Because there is more waste of the tree when cutting in this fashion, these sheets are often more expensive. Sea grain balsa is typically used in compression situations and is especially useful here as we have a giant hole in our bridge for the pass-through block that we don't want to bend. Using the L-shaped legs does a lot to prevent that, but having very stiff wood can also help. I wanted to try 1 16th inch thick wood for both parts of the leg. This time the entire actual mass of all four legs was 3.68 grams or almost 0.7 grams lighter than the previous build. Unfortunately, all this weight savings didn't make it to the end of the build, but it definitely made the difference in getting the mass down by about 0.4 grams. As I mentioned before, this build was essentially identical to the other build except for the legs. Here you can easily see the sea grain balsa pattern in both leg components. I kept the top connecting piece the same 3 32nd inch wood as before and to not introduce another variable, but this piece could also probably be optimized a bit more. Here is the completed build and you can see the entire structure. I recall that this build was also extremely level in both directions. Even with a good jig, it takes a lot of patience to make sure everything is very square, but it's worth the effort. Here is the bridge on the scale after being in the dry box and it weighs 5.29 grams. Again, I'll skip showing the first 10 kilograms of loading to save some time. Even in extreme slow motion, it's difficult to tell exactly what failed first. It does look like a leg failure, but it's hard to know if it's the top part on the front right or the back top, either directly behind the loading block or to the right side. Either way, this is probably getting close to the optimal leg weight. While I think slightly higher scores are still possible, I wanted to move on and to see what I could do with the Division C optimization using what I've learned here. I hope you guys had a great season and please feel free to reach out to me and let me know how you did. If you are particularly proud of your build or your progress over the season, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching and keep an eye out for the Division C version of this in the future.